In this tutorial, we demonstrate how to display your YouTube subscriber count on a Mac 72 19 8 digit 7 segment display using an ESP32 node MCU. Whether you're a YouTuber looking to showcase live subscriber stats or an electronics enthusiast exploring IoT projects, this step by step guide is for you. Materials required ESP32 node MCU, Mac 72 19 8 digit 7 segment display. Wiring setup, connect the power and ground pins of the ESP32 to the Mac 7219 display. Link the ESP32's 3.3V pin to the VCC pin and the GND pin to the Mac 7219's GND pin to establish the power circuit. For data connections, connect the DEN pin on the Mac 7219 to GPIO 23, the CLK pin to GPIO 18, and the CS pin to GPIO5 on the ESP32. These connections ensure data flow, timing synchronization, and module selection. After completing the wiring, connect the ESP32 to your PC via USB to power the circuit. To display your YouTube subscriber count using the provided code, you need to obtain a YouTube API key. Start by visiting the Google Cloud Console and signing in with the Google account associated with your YouTube channel. This ensures the API key you generate will have access to your channel's data. Once you are logged into the Google Cloud Console, the first step is to create a new project. At the top of the page, click on the Select a Project drop-down menu, which will display a list of your existing projects, if any. From there, click on the New Project button. A form will appear prompting you to name your project. Choose a clear and descriptive name, such as YouTube Subscriber Counter, to make it easy to identify later. You can also assign an organization or location for your project if applicable. After filling in the details, click on the Create button to initialize your project. This process may take a few seconds, after which your new project will be ready to use. After successfully creating your project, Navigate to the API and Services dashboard in the left-hand menu. This is where you can manage all the APIs associated with your project. At the top of the dashboard, click on Enable APIs and Services. This action will take you to the API library, where you can browse and enable APIs for various Google services. In the search bar located at the top of the page, type YouTube Data API v3 and press Enter. The YouTube Data API v3 should appear in the search results. Click on it to open the API details page, where you will see an option to enable the API. Click this button to activate the API for your project. Once the YouTube Data API v3 is enabled, the next step is to set up credentials to access it. In the Google Cloud Console, Navigate to the Credentials section located in the left-hand menu. On this page, you'll manage the security and access for your project's APIs. To create new credentials, click on the Create Credentials button at the top of the page. A wizard will open, guiding you through the process. From the options provided, select Public Data, as this project only requires access to publicly available YouTube subscriber information. After selecting Public Data, Click Next and then choose API Key as the credential type. Google Cloud will now generate a unique API key for your project. This key acts as a secure token that allows your ESP32 to access the YouTube Data API. Once the key is created, a pop-up will display the key, and it will also be listed under the Credentials section of your project. Copy this API key and store it in a safe location, as you will need to paste it into your code to enable the connection between your ESP32 and the API. Make sure you don't share this key publicly, as unauthorized users could misuse it and consume your API quota. Now, open the Arduino IDE on your computer and load the sample code provided in the video description. Install the LED control library in your Arduino IDE to control the Mac 7219 display. For detailed installation steps, please refer to the previous part of our video. This code connects to a Wi-Fi network, retrieves the YouTube subscriber count using the YouTube API, and displays it on an LED matrix controlled by a Mac 7219 chip. 
be sure to update the SSID and password variables with your Wi-Fi network credentials, as well as your YouTube API key and channel ID, before uploading the code. Replace the your underscore AP underscore key placeholder with the API key you generated earlier in the Google Cloud Console and replace your underscore channel underscore ID with your actual YouTube channel ID. Be sure to copy the API key and channel ID exactly as they are sensitive and must match the ones you've created and found in the YouTube settings. Once you've made these changes, save the code. Then, click the verify button, the check mark, in the Arduino IDE to compile the code and check for errors. Note, to get your YouTube channel ID, there are several ways to do so. One way is through YouTube Studio. Simply go to YouTube Studio, click on Settings in the left sidebar, then select Advanced Settings under the Channel section. Scroll down, and you'll find your channel ID listed there. Another way to find your channel ID is directly from the YouTube website. Open your YouTube channel in a browser and look at the URL. It will typically look something like https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash channel slash uc 12345678900 abdef. The string after slash channel slash is your channel ID, which you can copy and use in your code. Once the code is successfully compiled, Click the Upload button in the Arduino IDE to send the code to your ESP32 board. This step ensures that the code is properly transferred and the ESP32 is ready to execute it. You'll see a confirmation message once the upload is complete, indicating that the process was successful. Upon successful upload, the ESP32 will start running the code and the Mac7219 display will begin showing the YouTube subscriber count. Additionally, the serial monitor will output the Wi-Fi connection status and the real-time subscriber count, allowing you to verify the system's functionality. If this video was helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support allows us to keep creating valuable content and resources for our audience. Every bit of support makes a big difference, and we truly appreciate it. Thank you.